Hello everyone, uh, once again welcome to my YouTube channel uh, It's Reviving Destinies, here yeah, we revive destinies In this video I'm going to talk about how to get a good guy as a girl So that's what I'm going to talk about So uh, uh, at the same time I, I will make a video I think the next time Where I will be talking about how to um, uh, get a good girl as a guy or how to maintain a good girl as a guy because there's no way where I can make how to get a good girl or else I'm not a girl to know which girl is good so that's how it is so uh, so that's where I, I'm coming from with things so that's the topic which I'm going to discuss now first of all uh, the first point is uh, the word goodness is subjective from uh, different people and what we have to put in mind is that we do not have perfect people so we are always imperfect so even if a, a person is a good person is a relevant person first you have to start with prayers so that a, a, the Lord can lead you and handle you but it does not end up there you still need wisdom to see by yourself as much as after you have prayed while you are praying at the same time and also you still need a role to maintain that uh, good guy which you are which you found so that's how it is uh, so that you, you also need to be representable and be good on your side so that's how it is so the word goodness is subjective from different people meaning that even if you can get a person whom you are destined by god to be with that person even if you are even if you can uh, get uh, the promising person a person whom uh, is uh, uh, who is loyal but uh, you still have some level of imperfections so the word goodness is subjective meaning that do not tell yourself that as much as the person you have met as a good person then everything about the person is just close and perfect uh, no matter how good a person is you still have some imperfection uh, which is need to which uh, uh, you just need to address and handle on your journey of life so meaning that uh, a person can, uh, can be good but will have some form of imperfections in them which you just need to face which you just need to handle so that's how it is uh, uh, there are those who are good who are uh, but uh, uh, they have some form of different characters which you'll never like uh, some form of weaknesses which you, you have to acknowledge but at the same time every individual has a strength and weakness you just need to make sure that you know how to live with that person despite they have a disadvantage they, they have differences with you so that's how it is then the second thing is uh, the person whom you are going to handle uh, you are going to meet uh, do not ever think that a person who is good is a person who will come to you and use other people's names to uh, develop uh, the, the stuff with you so a good person must is not necessarily a case that he will be a person who paint others to look bad so that he can make himself look good because uh, the, 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 there are many guys who like to speak bad about other guys uh, uh, so that you you cannot you you, you cannot uh, be free to other guys so that you can see them as good people so that is not a way of uh, being a good guy that's not a way of seeing a good guy a person who paint other people as bad he can be good yes but it's not always the case that uh, a person who speak who paint others as bad is always good so that's how it is we'll find that that uh, the person is failing to build his own role but him is just using a strategy of painting others as bad uh, so that he can look good so that's how it is then the third thing is that uh, the third point is that be right as a lady uh, to maintain a good guy whom you have found or also to even find a good guy M make sure that as much as you are an imperfect person but have qualities or have uh, the, 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 uh, make sure that you are manageable make sure that you are uh, handling your weaknesses you know you don't just becoming a very pers a person whom uh, uh, no one can live with uh, in the name of you you are a good person in the name of uh, no one is perfect do not use the concept of uh, no one is perfect to uh, handle matters uh, do not use that concept uh, to say no one is perfect 
to uh, uh, causing damage in the lives of people. Make sure that if you were in the position of a guy, were you gonna receive or were you gonna accept a girl who is like you? Those are the questions which you should start asking yourself. So that's how it is. Then uh, the fourth point is that uh, we uh, the, the fourth point is that do not take advantage of the guy. Uh, we know that we live in a country uh, which has histor the history of women being oppressed, and also there are laws which are stated. Uh, to my opinion, it goes to an extent of those laws. They are just overprotecting uh, women. Uh, sometimes they do not listen to the sight of men. We live in the societies which do not hear the sight of a man, which do not listen to the sight of a man. But uh, those are the problems which you just need to face with and deal with uh, uh, as uh, our people. So meaning that as a woman, do not take advantage that uh, the laws are overprotecting you, the laws, they are with your side and the society, they are on your side. You, you can just take advantage of guys. You can just uh, uh, be a person who end up being abusing uh, 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 men uh, or guys in the name of uh, uh, you. You will get support from the society and uh, twist the statements uh, and twist the matters. So that's how it is. Then the fifth thing is that uh, the reputation wise, to get a good guy, you need a good reputation. Uh, we know that people you usually use this concept that I don't care about what people say about me. Those concepts, they must be used in a right way. You must make sure that you are a good person and uh, you, you are an accommodated person. You are dealing very well with your character. You don't just become in bad intentional in the name of I don't care about what people say. The Bible says blessed are those who are blameless in the book of Psalms chapter number 119. You have to be a person who handles your weaknesses. Then whenever people just hate you, we know that there are people who will just, who will just speak bad about you despite how good you are. But as much as despite how good you are, uh, uh, we acknowledge that. But at the, at the same time, be a good person, be a person who is representable so that you can have a good reputation. We know that uh, no matter how a person can say he has a good reputation, Somewhere, somehow, uh, he has a bad story. Uh, people, there, there are people who speak bad stories about that person. But put it in mind that uh, try to minimize people who speak bad about you and maximize those who speak good about you. So that's uh, what you should uh, normalize to understand. Do not just uh, uh, be a person uh, who says, a person who says, I don't care about what people say, but uh, you don't deal with yourself. Take a mirror, try to make yourself better, improve yourself, uh, make better from yourself. Then after that, that's where you can use that concept of I don't care about what people say. Whenever people, uh, they are bad to you. So that's how it is. So I can end up my video there. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the notification button. And let me see you in the next video. Shalom.